Welcome back. In this lecture, let's see how to create Metalian ETL instance. Go to Metalian login page, login and add new Metalian ETL instance. I'm gonna use AWS Cloud. Data platform is Redshift. I'll create the machine from AMI. Continue. There are multiple instances available. I'm going to choose the latest one. Select launch instance from image. Let's provide the configurations. I'm going to choose medium. Next. I'm using the default VPC. And also I'm using the default subnet. Next, I'm going to use the same configurations as is. Next, we can add tags if required. Next, configure security group. We can create new security group or we can also select the existing security group. I'm going to select existing security group and make sure HTTPS is enabled with the port reach 443. Review and launch. These are the properties. Launch. I'm going to use the existing key pair. If required, you can create new key pair. And also, you can proceed without a key pair. Instance is getting created. Instance is started and running. Let's launch the instance. The V2 launch medallion login pages. Go to Instance Properties. You have to open Public IPv4 Address. Advanced. Let's proceed to the IP address. Metalian login page is opened. 
username is ec2 user by default and password is the instance id login This is the project window. We have to associate the instance first. This is my organization name. We have to name the instance. Let's say Metallion hyphen Redshift Associate. Instance is successfully associated. Let's launch. Now we have to create the project. Let's define project group. Let's say Metallion underscore ETL as a project group. Project name. Let's define it as ETL. Next, we have to define AWS connection. Let's say AWS underscore ETL. Let's have instance credentials. Next, we have to define the cluster. This is my Redshift cluster. Endpoint port and username is automatically taken. I have to define my password. Next, I have to choose the database. Project is created. We have default projects over here, DIM underscore R ports and DIM underscore R port underscore setup. Thank you. See you in the next lecture.